Oh my goodness, I'm already down to three-fourths battery. I have another battery pack left. Okay, swing back. Today is Wednesday, October... I can never remember the day. Yesterday... No, it's not Wednesday. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. We tried going up to Long Lake, and my roommate Chris had been constantly watching the weather. In the fall time in Colorado, it can go anyways. So it was looking pretty good. On the way up, it started to snow. And as we got farther and farther up, we realized we had to turn around. There's been lots of times we've been out there and it has snowed even in the summertime, but it's just been light flakes and nothing crazy. But this was starting to pack down. It was best to play it safe. We turned around, started heading back, and enjoyed a day in Boulder. But I've had this fishing itch for a while. I haven't been able to go for a long time, and I was really looking forward to possibly doing some lake fishing up at Long Lake. I heard there's a bunch of green bag cutthroat trout. So that was still in my system and here I am today. That was a really long intro. I'm on my way to Evergreen Dam, which is at the base of Evergreen Lake. I definitely like trying new areas, but on days like this, when I just want to get out and fish for a bit and not have to really do a lot of work researching and planning, um, it's good to have these go-tos. Right now, my weather app says it's about 45 degrees-ish. Partly cloudy, but go check it out. Definitely a lot colder down here. Glad I have all this stuff. Most of the time when I go trout fishing, I bring up my waders and stuff so I can get in the water. I'm just gonna throw on my uh, trusty hiking boots. These are Vast Breeze Threes. I'll have a link in the description below that has just all my gear listed for anybody that's curious. Since the fish here are pretty small, I'm just gonna stick with my uh, nine foot four weight. I definitely need the longer rod to cast out a little bit farther. Most of the fish I've caught have been right up by the dam where the water spills in, probably where a bunch of food comes in as well. So I need the long length to get out there, but I don't need a heavy rod necessarily. I have caught a couple browns that are maybe around 12, but it's not very often. The water is a little bit higher than normal and the wind picked up a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna set up my little camp here and try this out. managed to catch a couple um, and I pulled my line in to see that I don't you can't see it right now because this is this thing is tiny I'm using a size 20 pheasant tail nymph and then a size 20 just olive bead head with some sparkle around it this thing has been torn up um, so I'm probably just gonna get rid of it since the last ones I've all caught on just the pheasant tail and contrary to most times that I've been out here I'm actually fishing below where the water spills down instead of right up at the dam I've been trying to cast out that way the winds just been throwing me around and I haven't gotten anything out there so I might just try to fish this lower area for a little bit but first I'm gonna take this off I'm also gonna try to get a better release if I get another one that one kind of flopped out of my hand the second nymph was kind of wrapped around it was kind of a mess
Okay, so today so far I've caught a lot of small ones like you've seen just like right around this area right here Maybe like four to five feet above where the water trickles over that small dam down there um, I'm gonna try to cast in the riffles over here now and see if I can get a few bigger ones. I can't seem to get anything in my usual spot, which is right around this. Pointing backwards sucks. I haven't been able to catch any in my usual spot right around the ridge where the water falls in. Uh, it's pretty windy and I keep getting tangled up. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of short nymph fishing. So I definitely was catching a lot of fish right here in front. But the only problem is whenever I would set, half the time it would end up in this tree. I saved one and then I just got it stuck again and it broke everything so I think I'm gonna be done for the day. I caught a good amount of fish but it's starting to get really cold. My hands are cold and the sun isn't coming out like I thought it would be so hold on. Also, that duck was cool hanging out with me, but causing problems because he would swim right in front and then I couldn't cast and I have to wait a little bit, but it was nice to have some company. I'm gonna tear down all this stuff here real quick and then start heading back. Okay, a little bit of a bonus. On my way back, there's this bison overlook between Evergreen and Denver. I always kind of look over to see if they're gonna be out. They are, so I'm gonna walk down this path here and see if I can get a good shot of them. They're kind of far from the actual part where you can park and walk right up to the fence and see them, but hopefully my zoom lens will be able to capture them here. This is when I really wish I had a longer zoom lens. Um, the one I'm rocking right now is an 18 to 135. It's actually a kit lens, but still pretty cool to see. Um, and great day overall. I got a good amount of small browns. I was afraid in the beginning I wasn't gonna catch anything. It turned out well. I made some new flies at home that I've been wanting to try out and I totally forgot the box. So hopefully by the next trip I can take those out and see if they work. But for now it's time to head home.